It's such a bike traveler's cliche, but don't get much better than this, man. This is why we ride. Info. Moto. Well, gang, it's Spanner Man's birthday today, and he's having a bit of a do at the Omeo Hotel, which, as you can probably tell, isn't exactly a short walk away. So, we've assembled the Info Moto team, and we're on our way. And sort of by chance, we're on three uh, three BMW touring bikes. Uh, Jimmy's fully kitted out GSA, and Snag's S1000 XR, and I myself have a brand spanking F900 XR which I suppose is the baby of the bunch, but a wholly capable motorcycle for this sort of trip. So anyway, let's see what kind of mischief we can get up to and we'll bring you along. Well, we're starting to get pretty remote. It's getting really windy too. I think we're gonna run into some rain. So I'm in full touring mode. I've got the screen in its highest setting, which is doing a pretty good job, but I'm still getting blown around a bit. I've also got cruise control going. I've got heated grips here if I need them, but I don't think I will. Yeah, the uh, F900 is a really good tourer. Um, the, the only time you really notice, the, the only real difference between this and the, the bigger S1000XR when you're on the freeway is that S1000 obviously has that incredible engine um, made famous by the S1000RR and I'd be lying if I said <clears throat> you know the S1000 didn't feel like a lot more thrilling simply because of that insane engine but if you're honest with yourself the 900 has more than enough go for basically any application short of a racetrack so uh, yeah I have no idea where we are right now but I'll catch back up with you shortly Finally hit the Great uh, Alpine Road, heading into Romeo. And uh, one, of the, one of Australia's great roads. Noticing uh, all the regrowth after the big fires. Uh, and uh, yeah, it's all nice and green now, but I can imagine what a moonscape it looked like not long ago. Yeah, what a road. It's just tucky to enjoy that. wet now, just to make it a bit more interesting. So we'll just uh, concentrate a little bit here. Info, moto. Well, it's the next day. I think I had a few more beers than I should have last night, but sun's out. We got another day of riding. Sun's out, guns out. Well, setting off from beautiful Omeo. Check the day. Check the weather. So setting off today, circuitous route down through the Stresleckies, down from Omeo to Fish Creek for uh, a bit of bonhomie in the pub there with Spence, young Jimmy, set to go. Away we go. Day two. We just stayed at the, uh, in Omeo last night at this beautiful hotel, the Golden Age, which you would have seen. And um, tonight we're staying at the Fish Creek pub 
so we've got a fair few hundred kilometers to cover today and the sun's out and the road is magnificent we came along this stretch on our way into Omeo last night and it was a bit wet here and there so you had to be pretty careful but I feel I'm really getting the grips with the F900 now and I feel really comfortable on it and it really allows you to push harder than you should I'm torn between wanting to absolutely hammer along and look at this incredible Victorian view I'll have to do a bit of both I reckon This thing has a really, really usable power at about three quarters of the way through the rev range and if you stay in there, it's really pokey. And the front end feel is superb. It's not electronic suspension like the boys have on their bikes, but on a smooth road like this, it's, it's perfectly set up. And, uh, there is a steering dampener under there, nicely hidden in true BMW spirit. Understated, yeah. I'm in the dynamic pro mode, um, which I went in and tailored to give me a bit of wheelie because uh, in standard Dynamic Pro, even though it's the most performance oriented mode the wheel is completely suppressed and well, there's just not much fun in that, is there? I'll catch up with you a bit later Man, there's so much grip Touch wood It's such a bike traveller's cliche, but it doesn't get much better than this, man. This is why we ride. What a road. What a road. No Paintsville, no Gainesville. You're a poet, and never doubt it. I ain't no clue. <laughs> we just had a mega ride today, didn't we? Well, we came down from Omeo, that, uh, the Great Alpine Road, and I'll tell you what, I know where it gets the great from. Yeah, big time. Because uh, twisty, beautiful surface. Demanding road. It was. Well, we came down there yesterday on the way into Omeo, and it was a bit wet and a bit dark. A bit of diesel. So yeah, it was a different animal. You couldn't yeah. really have a proper rip last night, but today the sun was out, particularly this morning. Yeah. And I, I felt like I had a lot of grip. Did you? Yeah, look, I, I, look, we got down there in a spirited fashion. I think it, you fellows were there fairly well before me, so uh, I never at any stage felt like it was a dangerous ride or anything like that. But yeah. it's certainly one that you could concentrate, get up over the front end and have a real dip, and, and I loved it. And the good thing was there was bugger all traffic up there. Yeah, oh, barely any. Barely yeah. any. And uh, yeah, had a great ride to beautiful Painesville. Now, I love Painesville. No, and I do say no Painesville, no Gainesville. Yeah, all right. Don't well, what's next on the agenda? Next on the agenda. Uh, well, that was S1000, though. I mean, that eats up road. Like oh, that. look, as I think I was telling you before, showing off a little bit, I, I try and keep it a gear too high, so I'm clicking up and down the box because it. On the pipe, it just sounds like a bloody Formula One yeah, car it's when they head, sounded right? good. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm I'm having as much fun sort of listening to it, um, and clicking up through that gearbox with that with that quick shifter. Yeah, it's a hot knife through butter. Oh, it's a hot knife through. It's butter. a hot knife through butter. But you've got your podcast going and having a much more relaxing. Sort I of day. was. 
I was taking in some some politics and a little bit of uh, French philosophy this oh, morning. What about a, yourself? Every hell for later, to be honest. I think you were just getting <laughs> get, getting rid of oh, last no, night's headache. Just over or? the speed limit. I just think, over the yeah. speed limit in the ten percent area. Yeah. And you were on the the F nine hundred XR. Yeah. The uh, probably the little brother to the S thousand XR. How did you get on? Well, I was saying yesterday that like it does itself a disservice because I've spent so much time on S1000s. Unfair, that it's isn't it? It's like you miss that motor, but now I'm getting more used to it. And on that road, when you can really hook in, I felt that I could ride the F900 probably faster than I could the S1000 just because yes. it didn't have that wild it's runt. Not, not as but brutal. In the rev range, and when, once you get used to riding it and how to ride it fast, yes, it's a really quick motorcycle. And above all else that um the suspension man yeah it just yep. eats it for breakfast and at one stage I, I grabbed a heap of front brake mid corner yes which you know you're not really allowed to do shouldn't be but um i mean it just lets you do it well it has it has that all that um uh, dynamic uh, yeah cornering brake, abs, cornering and ABS. Control, that's it and uh look it really it it forgives you doesn't it absolutely it lets you off the yeah. hook yeah and i reckon like that's a good thing for probably the sort of person that's buying an F900XR. Yes. Um, as more an entry level fast sports tourer. Yes. Um, like, it looks after you. Yeah. Really looks after you. I think, look, if I'm honest, I'd like a little bit more grunt out of that motor. I'm sure it's there. I'm sure it's there with a the tune. Yeah. Like, oh, look, yeah. no doubt. But look, a little bit more horsepower. Mm. But then again, it's true. I, I'm getting off the S1000XR, which. It's not fair. Not a fair it's really not fair. Yeah. Um, and I like the bags. I like the idea of the bags. Oh, bit expensive equipment falling on the floor there. See, <laughs> this is what happens when you do stuff live, folks. You're getting the complete uncut truth. The uncut as truth. It happens. And of course, Jimmy's here on his 1200 GS, and he's supposed to be a dirt rider or you know a quiet adventure rider, but Jimmy just seems to be disappearing into the distance, doesn't he? His tyres were spanked, man. Yeah. I think he was showing off a bit, but yeah, he was. Um, I was impressed, um, a little bit worried, yeah, because I thought I might find him up a tree anytime soon. But the old GSA, eh? it just There's keeps on surprising, don't they? They're crazy, man. They're crazy. They just keep doing things that shouldn't. That a bike that big shouldn't be able to do. Shouldn't be able to do. Well, a bloke that big shouldn't be able to do it. I, I know. Reckon, a, eh? a man of limited ability. A man of limited ability. He certainly uses. He yeah. started with nothing, and he's got most of it left. Yeah. So we're heading on now to... Yeah, where are we going? Well, uh, we're going to the beautifully named Fish Creek. Oh, Fish Creek. Fish Creek. And there are fish and there is a creek. The Savoy. The Savoy. There's a very good uh, Besser Brick Motel that you'll enjoy the environs of. A nice uh, fat steak. Uh, a bit of bench racing. Yeah. And uh, look... Yeah. Oh, well, well, I'd probably had too many beers yesterday, but... Well, the details are sketchy, but I think when you're going to the Fish Creek Hotel... Beer is a little bit compulsory. All right. So, look, a beautiful part of Victoria. I'm going to take you down the Streslicky Highway, you guys. And seriously, you're about to be thrilled. Really? Absolutely thrilled. It is one of nature's highlights, except for the cow dung. Be careful. Right, all right, cow dung. And if there's cow dung, there's cows. Yeah. Often, <laughs> it often follows when you have cow dung, you have cows. Jeez, um, detective. And then tractors and blokes that really left school in Form 4. You know, no, yeah. so just keep your eyes and ears open, this right? Sensory experience. Sensory then. experience. So All good. Right, good let's luck. Let's go for a ride, eh? Okay, we'll go for a ride. I am not the devil. Well, we've arrived at the Fish Creek Hotel, and I'm officially knackered. Let's see what Snag has to say. Well, I'm a bit shagged, actually. <laughs> yeah. If I'm honest, but uh, yeah, is there a better feeling than when you get to your humble abode after three or four hundred k's of some of Australia's finest? I think not. Do you mirror Snag's feelings, Jimmy? Let's go again. <laughs> Info, Moto. Day three, wet. I noticed. Well, we, you can't, we can't complain because the weather has been fabulous. Yeah. So, yeah, I, no matter how you look at that weather map, 
I can't talk it into yeah. being any better as than it is. optimistically as you look at it. Nothing's yeah. happening. But look, what are we? 180 out of Melbourne. We're going to get wet asses. What a great ride. Which way are we going? Ah, uh, look, pretty much straight on in the south, south Gippsland Highway, which a lot of the early parts very interesting. Right. Straight past your land and, um, yeah, lovely. It's a lovely ride in, but it's not the world's most yeah. interesting. Well, it's warming up and a bit of water never hurt anyone, so. Would you also, no shenanigans, please. No showing off. <laughs> All right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what chance? Yeah. <laughs> I'm more worried about Jimmy behind the camera. Oh, I'm more worried about Jimmy full time. <laughs> what a great trip. Yeah, really, go. really good trip. Can you believe it? The sun came out. We only got about two hours of rain and now it's beautiful again. We really couldn't have been luckier and um, yeah, what a great trip. Three really great bikes, great roads, great blokes. You can't ask for much more than that. So I guess we'll just dawdle into Melbourne City and get back to our normal lives, eh? Thanks for coming along.